All right, we are live. What is good, everybody? It is your boy, G20. We are back on that San Jose Sharks franchise mode today. Man, it is July 18th. We are very close to the NHL restarting, and your boy's getting hot. Your boy's getting excited, and there's no better way to feed the hockey excitement than to play some GM mode. You feel me? So hopefully you guys are down to come through and help me build this uh, this San Jose Sharks team back to what it once was, okay? We're trying to make this a contender. We might have some huge trades today. We're gonna see, um, we're gonna see just what ends up happening. So, let's get it, man. My boy LTX, or LTK, excuse me, is the first one in here. I appreciate you, Van Moss is in here. Yes, sir. Analogy, my man, what's up? What's up, one and all? All right. So basically, if you need a little bit of a recap of what happened um, last stream, we had one of the greatest drafts you will ever see in the entirety of this game. Okay, we just had three medium elite players just come in, bop, 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 in the first round, and we didn't even pick in the top three. It was unbelievable, and we had some good goalie prospects later on down the road, and we made the playoffs, so that was good, and then after that, we managed to get the fourth overall pick because guess what? We made another trade that gave us Vancouver's pick, and that is why we have the fourth overall pick today. I am not planning on trading that pick because we do need a defenseman cornerstone for the future. So we're going to see what happens. We may trade Eric Carlson today, though, because he is starting to tail off, and I'm not trying to pay him $11.5 million. You feel me? So let's go. Let's see what we can do, man. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. The Rangers are the ones with the first pick. That's huge. Mark Drums, my man, coming in clutch. What's good, brother? What's good? Evan, hello. Good day to all of you. Let's, yes, sir. You're early, but you're feeling a bit sick. That's no fun. That's no fun. Let's simulate the pick and see what happens in the first. Ooh. It was a medium franchise. Okay. Sheesh. That guy's good, too. He's pretty much Lafreniere, but it left... Wow, okay. The Red Wings are going to get a medium elite. Pretty damn good. 81 overall. That's really good. And the third pick is, again, a medium elite. So let's not screw this up. Picking at number four. Only have uh, a couple of minutes here to make this pick. Oh. I was really hoping there would be a defenseman here. But I would have to go way off the board, and that guy's not supposed to be anything better than the top four. So I think we're just going to take the best player available because all the other ones are wingers. So you want to pick the center, right? And, I mean, that's Shane Wright. So you, we're probably going to be... Yeah, I, the chat is with me. We're probably going to be en ending up picking Shane Wright. 35 goals, 46 assists for the kid. What about, what about Mr. Zaitsev? Oh, yeah, not the same amount. Ooh, hold on now. Puck protection. Okay, hold on. A-plus for puck skills. That's very good. A-plus for shooting. A in everything else. We got to give this man a little bit of a little bit of thought as well. We do have a center already. He's a two-way forward, so he's not going to produce that much offense. This Zaitsev kid is no joke. He is no joke. He's, like, unanimously... 200 foot game. Oh man. Shane Wright is 6'2 as well. Yeah, okay, we're gonna pick Shane Wright. We're gonna pick him. Tried to trade for the next pick. I, man, at this point, I don't think we really need to do that. We have so many high prospects, and we are picking 20 seconds, so I'm not gonna uh, spend assets to get another pick. There's no. I don't feel like there's any incentive for us to do that. This man's is a top six forward. Left wing, top six forward. You do need some of them. I would love to get a defenseman, but we'd have to go so far off the board every time. Top six D, too. Like, it's not... Okay, you know what? Once again, this is not as... Um, 
as good of a draft as we had last season, but it's okay. We still got a top six. There you go. That's not bad at all. What does Buffalo get? He's probably They're probably going to get the... Yeah, there you go. Another top six. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. I was hoping we'd get a defenseman, but maybe we can do that with... Um, maybe we can acquire that with trades, you know? Actually, you know what? We're going to pick this guy, and hopefully he's good. Please be good. Oh, low elite. Okay. Okay, well, we got a low elite defenseman. That's not bad. That's not bad. I did pick Shane right, so hopefully uh, hopefully you guys are happy with that. I had to. You know, he's six foot two center. Like, he's going to be a good player, so we're going to do that. 200-foot game, too. Um, top goalie is... Uh, you know what? They want me to pick the defenseman. We'll pick the defenseman because we're a little bit low on um, high-end defensive talent as far as the prospect pool goes. It's mostly... It's pretty forward heavy, you know? So we're going to try to see if we can fix that a little bit. AHL top two. Why would I pick that? Oh, man. That's uh, that's really not good. Okay. Uh, top six forward. They're pretty sure about it. We'll try. We'll try. Maybe. Maybe we can get lucky on it. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Low top six. He might become like a like a third line guy. That's That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Right grows like a weed as well, though that's good because we're gonna need him to be productive rather quickly, because our best um, our best winning window is probably gonna be this this upcoming like two three year stretch. You think Ovi can beat Gretzky in points by the time he retires? Not a chance. No one will ever beat Wayne Gretzky in points. That's not happening. There's, there, it's just not happening. He's like a thousand points ahead of everybody else. It's ridiculous. Mark Daniel, what's up? What is up? Good morning, man, or good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you coming through. What's up, Vet? Vet also coming through. We did not pick that many players. Three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what? Six. That's. That's pretty average um, amount of players picked. Now, let's go to the re-sign phase, and let's see if I can trade a player in the re-sign phase here. Uh, coach expiring contracts. Ooh, we might have a decision to make here. Who's expiring? Nobody? Who is expiring? Oh, okay, I'm guessing the guys without a salary, right? Yeah, those two guys. Okay, so this coach, we have a chance... Oh, I don't think we need to change our head coach, eh? Forwards is his specialty, and we're heavy at forward prospects. I don't think we need to change this coach at all. Let's... Can I check the candidates, at least? I can't. I can't do it. I think we gotta keep the same coach. He... Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep the same coach for now. Maybe not four years. I'll give him a three-year deal. I feel like that's fair. We're going to pay him, though, because he is the NHL's head coach. So there you go. What overall was Zaitsev? I actually don't know. I'm I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. We could probably hire a better coach than Traverse. Probably. He's only a C teacher. Yeah, we're going to fire uh, Traverse. Boom. Okay, so let's hire a new coach. Oh, we can't. We can't right now. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. You can always fire him, and there's better. That's a that's a whole fact. Uh, you do it does mess you up as far as your budget goes, but that you can indeed do that. Go to contracts. I don't think we have that many. No, we don't have that many decisions to make here this off season. Unfortunately, we're going to lose Thomas Hurdle. That's an that's very unfortunate. But he's going to make room for the guys that are coming up, right? The rookies that are coming up. So you know what? I'm not even going to overpay him because we're going to need to pay the rookies shortly. So Thomas Hurdle, goodbye. It's been real. He's been very good for us. Henestros is a 20-goal scorer. He doesn't want to re-sign, though. Well, you know what? If they don't want to re-sign, I don't want him on my team. It's fine. Okay. So Shane Wright is an 81 overall, so we're definitely going to sign him. He's going to play in the in the NHL this season. 
we are going to qualify Mr. Jeremy Roy, who is now an 82 overall at 25. So it looks like he's going to fall short of his potential a little bit, but he's still going to end up being a pretty decent player. I'm not sure about a four-year deal for Jeremy Roy, though. We're going to give him a three-year deal and less money. We're going to give him four million, and I'm still a little iffy about that. I don't know if we should really pay him that much. Look for one with better che teaching. We couldn't look for potential candidates. We couldn't do it at this particular time. Hey, David Arthur, what's up, man? How you doing? How are you doing? Who is this man? Mr. Ferraro. Mm. Top four potential, 23 years old, 81 overall. I like Mr. Ferraro. Let's sign him. Let's sign him to a... Yep, two-year deal. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, and you know what? I kind of like that number. We'll see if we can drop him a little bit because he does want to come back. 1.7. You know, we're not lowballing him, but we're just trying to get a good deal. I feel like that's that's uh, something you can respect. This man wants to come back. We do need veterans. We need a few veterans, so we're going to bring back Sorensen for sure. Um, these two young lads can get qualifying offers. And I'm going to figure them out later. We don't need to uh, stretch about that. We're going to release him because he didn't want to come back. That's fine. Mr. Gallant is a 77 overall center. He's 23 years old. You know what? Let's qualify him. Let's qual And matter of fact, let's give him a contract offer here. Yes, I like that. One year deal. Yep, I'm going to sign Gallant for sure. I made it to back-to-back -back streams. Yes, sir, Mason, you did. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Appreciate you showing up once again. My man's here wants to re-sign, so we'll give him a one-year deal. Because why not? He's a veteran. You like veterans. And I also like this man. So we're going to do that. We're going to sign him to a one-year deal as well. Okay. Other than that, we can sort of... We can look for the... Re Actually, let's look for the rookies that I have to sign or lose. Oh, this man is a medium elite. So we definitely want to sign him. When did I pick you, Mr. Sundin? I picked you 16th overall. Oh, and I didn't sign him because I wanted him to continue developing. Okay, okay, that's why. So we're going to sign Sundin. Probably going to end up playing in the AHL, but that's pretty... That's still pretty decent. Can we sign... This man is 20 years old. Uh, Rochette. I f actually feel like this guy... Yeah, Rochette was a decently high pick, so we're going to sign him. We want him to, to have as much of a chance as we can have of him developing. We're going to release this kid. Top six forward. I feel like we should sign him. That is Ray Ferraro's son. You are completely uh, correct about that. 100% correct. Medium elite, I can still I can still wait one more year on Clark. And he's 65 overall, so we don't need to uh Oh man, that was a third round pick? Ooh, I did well. I did well. Did you trade Carlson? If not, you can trade him for a good pick. I can trade Carlson for a lot of things. Um Yeah, these guys are just not good enough right now to be worth signing, so we're just going to let them uh, develop down in their native clubs. Um, oh. Well, that's a shame. Merz Lickens doesn't want to come back. He was a good backup for us, but I'm not overpaying for a backup, so we're going to release him. Other than that... Oh, you know what? We do have a, a backup. Martin Jones can play backup. He's not the greatest at it, but, you know, if we're going to pay him freaking $5 million. How long is Jonesy's contract? Oh, man, I might... Okay, that is just that is just a tough contract, man. I don't like that at all. You're 71 overall and backup potential. Get off my team. Just like that. Other than that, we have pretty much enough goalies. Yeah, we have enough goalies to get by. Okay. Daniel, what's up, man? Thank you for joining the stream. How are you today? Hope everyone is doing just fine. We... Going to sign your contract offer, but you don't have enough budget. Oh, no. Sheesh. That's not good. Easy decision to decide to sign. That's great. Easy decision. That's great. 
I think everybody's going to... Ooh. Okay. What's up with uh, Jeremy? Reject your contract offer. Well, how long... Oh, okay, so he's really about term. Okay, well, in that case... In that case, if Jeremy Roy really wants his term, then I'll drop the... I'll just drop his um, his money, you know, his salary. That's perfectly fine with me. A dream of mine to join. That's fine. Rochette's going to sign. Okay. So apparently we don't have the uh, enough budget. Oh, boy. Enough budget to sign the coach that I want. So that's annoying. That is very annoying. Uh, man, we should... We should have enough budget to sign him. I don't understand, um, hold on here, hold on, I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna lower it a little bit, I'd still, I would love to have him back, like, that would be just the best, you can sign him later, I know, but I, I would rather not take the chance that he walks on me, you know, I would rather sign him right now. All right, so everybody else is, um... Oh, my God, look at Hanala. Hanala's already at 87. Ooh, son! That is exciting! That is so exciting! He's coming into his second season, bro. Second season. He's got 80 face-offs, too. We might want to think about moving him to center, even though he is a sniper, so wing is probably the best position for him. But we, we're starting to get some really decent players here. All right. Oh, yeah, Jeremy Roy. What do you want, Jeremy? You really want a four-year deal. What if you want a four-year deal, Jeremy? We're going to need you to compromise on the money. I feel like 3.825, boom, would be the move. Let's, um, let's see what happens then. Oh, these two guys didn't re-sign with me? Why not, Hicketts? Why not, Hicketts? Let's... Jeez, you want a lot of money. That's why, Hicketts. Lord have mercy. All right. Just try to sign him. Oh, I didn't offer these people a contract. That's why. That's what happened. Okay. Boom. Gonna give these gentlemen a deal. Uh, this guy can be a good veteran for my... For my AHL team, so we're gonna sign him. Same thing with old boy here. Uh, oh, that's uh, Andrew Cogliano. That's good. Andrew Cogliano's a good player. Doesn't want to come back. Move from the team. 73 overall. AHL top two defenseman. 21 years of age. We'll give him his entry. Why not? Why not? He could play on the AHL squad. We need good players down there, right? So, bottom six forward. He's going to accept the qualifying offer. That's, that's just what I'll do. Other than that, this guy is a top nine forward, so we might as well just give him a chance. To develop, everybody else here can just stay. Yeah, they can stay on their native clubs for now. And that's perfectly fine. The question I have now is oh, I can't trade somebody right now. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Please, Jeremy Roy, Andrew Cogley, although I am interested, I'm going to reject your offer. Okay, okay. Of uh, uh, the dollar value, I gave you exactly what you wanted, Andrew. All right, well, Andrew Cogliano's not coming back, unfortunately, for him. Anyway, going to reject the offer. This dollar value. Okay, so we didn't pay Jeremy Roy enough money. I'm not, I'm not going to cave, brother. I'm just not going to do it. He's restricted free agent. I have no... You know, I have no incentive to overpay him as a restricted free agent. Um... We're going to give you 3.9, and if you don't like that, you're going to restricted free agency. I do not care. I do not care. <laughs> Watching you do this makes me realize how terrible I am at franchise mode. Damn. <laughs> That's funny, man. I appreciate the compliment. Don't have enough budget. How much How much budget do I have? Okay. Interested. Uh, oh. Dollar value is not high enough for you, eh, Jeremy? Okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's look at the coaching staff. 
staff salary is 3.7 and we have 7 million. So 7.6, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have about 5 million or 4 million dollars. So we'll just give him There. That should that should fit under our budget. Now I, I really don't know if he's gonna accept that. But if he does, I'm gonna be through the roof because he is a great teacher. And that's what I really need. Alright. Jeremy Wah, I swear to God, man. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and see what happens to Jeremy in uh, restricted free agency. At this point I'm just over it, man. I'm over it. You don't have enough budget. What in the... Okay. Okay. Now, now we have issues. You can pre oh, you can press square just to advance today. That's pretty, uh... That's pretty good. Okay, this coach, man. This coach... Look, man. Look, man. If this doesn't fit under our budget, I'm going to be freaking fuming. Free agency, you can sign it for as much as you want. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Three point eight mil. Yeah, that's is that what I just gave him? I put offering me a deal ideally suited for my skills. So I gladly accept. Excellent. So we got the coach that we needed. Let's get it. Alright. Who is what is happening here? The following scouts not been oh. Let's hire some scouts, people. Let's hire Los Scouts. We need... Hold on. Oh, snap. We don't have that much money, do we? 2.5 mil. Okay. OHL. We need him. We need a QMJHL scout for sure. Let's just pick one person out of each region. USA. Boom. Scandinavia. Has a few good players at times. I just want a European scout. Please, there you go. And I think that's pretty much... Oh, Russia. Yep, Russia is also a place. Okay. Oh, that's... I just gave him so much money. All right. Pro Scout calling. I don't care about the Pro Scout right now. Okay. Contract limit warning. Huh? All team must have 50 contracts by the beginning of this year. Currently, your team has 35 contracts. No contracts. Andy. I think I'm fine. Why is this beginning of the I don't okay, screw it. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Alright. So let's see here. Let's see. We have nineteen million dollars of cap space. Morgan Riley is available. Oh, that is just so mmm. Okay, that would be so good. John Klingberg is also there, but he wants 11 mil. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go out and sign just one of the players that we like, let's just go to Proposed Trade and see what we're working with. Let's just see what we got. We got plenty of cap space. I'm just trying... Oh, look at all these medium elites. My lord. Wowzers. All right. We are in a good spot. Okay, centers, we have... <laughs> Look at that! Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's forwards. Okay, centers. Jesus. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. We got four centers that are going to play in the NHL this year. So that's good. We're clear on centers. Left wingers, we got one, two, three, uh, four. Four. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay for right wingers. What about or left wingers? What about right wingers? One, two, three, four, 
We're good on left wingers as well. How many defensemen do we have? One, um, two, three, four, five. Okay. So technically we have six defensemen that could play in the NHL, but it would be ideal if we got a better one. So that's, um, sort by overall. I don't want to do that because some people are sort of lower overall, but we're going to play them in the NHL anyway. All right. So this is interesting. This is very interesting. Shout out Alex Ovechkin, who's out here. We have a good starter. We have an okay backup. Defense is really where we should make our mark. Ooh, son. Oh, my goodness. Zach Wierenski. Oh, that's restricted, though. That would have been so good. I counted a 65 for left wing. That sucks. Thanks about th thanks for that. Uh, so let's sign just like a second liner. Oh, let's sign Kevin LeBanc back. No, let's not. He wants seven million dollars. Sheesh, Kevin! What did you do last season? You think you can make seven million? Oh, okay, fair enough. You had 32 goals. <laughs> That's fair enough, Kevin. I'm not even going to hold it against you. All right. Wow. I don't want to pay that much for a second liner, though. Okay. Uh, Nikita Gusev was on our team not too long ago. We could sign him again. Oh, David Perron. I really like David Perron. Yeah, we're going to sign him. We're going to sign him. That's a really good value contract. We'll do it. Oh, he only wants a one-year deal, too? Bet. Bet. If that's all he wants, I'll give him one or 4.1. I don't care. Let's go. Try Wierenski with offer sheet. Hell no, I'm not giving away my my draft picks. Look at look at Wierenski, dude. Um, freaking six million dollars. Uh, actually, what is the compensation for six million dollars? That might be worth it. That might actually be worth it. Uh, I would rather not do that, but we can get those picks back via Eric Carlson. Okay, what if we're going to give him as, as high as possible without hitting 7 million? We'll do that, because Wierenski's a monster. Oh, what is the compensation? First, second, and a third. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. A first, second, and a third. Mm, no. What if... What if we drop it by a 100k? Does it drop the comp? First, second, and a third. Ooh. It could be a lottery pick. We're, we're getting a lot of... Um, that's a great point. Because we have a lot of young guys. Yeah, well, let's not do that. Let's not do that. I appreciate the, the effort. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. I feel like that's just not worth the risk at that point. Okay. We can't afford a ten million dollar defenseman. So it's coming down to Honka. Letty would not be a bad idea each either. Butcher, not a bad idea either. Or Olimata. Oh, we still have to try and sign Jeremy Roy. Shit. Alright. Alright, Jeremy. We're doing this again. We're going to give you those four years. We're going to give you 3.95. I'm not signing Wa for over $4 million. It's not happening. Riley, one year, 11 mil. I don't think he wants... Does he want a one-year deal? Nah, he wants a six-year deal. If he wanted one year, I might have considered it, but nah. Maybe we can explore the Carlson trade and see what we get back. If we get, you know, most of the compensation back, then maybe we can just sign Wierenski. Because Carlson, at age 32, he's an 89 now, and he still has five years left at 11 and a half. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. Hey, Bloopy, what's up, man? We might need to trade him, bro, and his potential's already dropped.
Okay, let's just see what we can get. Actually, let's see what we can get. Let's go see if the trade finder gives us anything. Find a trade. For Mr. Eric Carlson. I hit I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, Eric Carlson. Let's see what we got. No trades found. I hate the trade finder. He says, can't believe I caught you live. Hell yeah, brother. We live. We do this. Maybe trade deadline for Carlson. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it could be a, a good idea. It would prop our team up quite a bit. Excuse me, did I just see the Bruins want it? Oh my god, the Bruins. That's going to be too difficult for the salary cap. Actually, the salary cap's not in effect right now. So maybe... Maybe we can make this work. Hold on. Because we do need... Hmm... Travis Sanheim is not a bad piece to get. The salary cap is in effect, uh, apparently. Okay, well, technically you can go over by 10% in the offseason, but I guess the game doesn't know that. We're going to do this. We needed a left winger. Ooh. How long does J JVR have on his contract left? Oh, that is clutch. Give me JVR. Make the salaries work. Yes. Get Provorov one for one. Nah, I don't want to do a one for one for Eric Carlson. I don't feel like that's productive. Um, a first. I think I might be able to squeeze a second out of this too, and a second. You know what? Just for just just for the shits. First, second, and a third. The compensation to get Wierenski. Van Riemsdyk and Travis Sanheim. Are you down with that? Rejected. Okay. Not comfortable taking on extra salary. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. What if we remove the third? Rejected. Dang. They're not comfortable taking on EK's salary. Heiskanen wouldn't be bad either, but Heiskanen wants double digits. That's the thing. Uh, what if we do this? Sanheim, JVR, and a first for Carlson is still good. Can we do it? Man. They don't want to do it. Okay. How about we put this back on the table? First, second, and a third. But we retain on Eric Carlson. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, how about we retain just under a million dollars? I feel like that's decent. Oh, they don't want to do it still. Okay. 1.15. Come on. Come on, Philly. Do it. I'm going to be at 1.3. That's as much as I'll retain on Eric Carlson. They don't want to do it. If I remove the third, they still don't want to do it. If I remove the second, they still don't want to do it. Trade deadline it is. Okay. Trade deadline it is for Eric Carlson. Dang. That would have been a blockbuster of a deal. Holy moly. But we still need a defenseman. Y'all saying go for Klingberg? Yeah, no. Dude, that would be 11.4 plus Carlson's 11.5. $23 million in a, in a pair of defensemen? I'm not comfortable doing that. Not comfortable at all. I, re I would rather get Will Butcher, honestly. He's 27. We can give him a five-year deal. Five times five for Will Butcher. I feel like that's very, very good. 
It's gonna give him. Uh, it is gonna bring him till he's 22 or 32, which is good. I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now we have a few offers on the table. We're just gonna simulate until until we get some answers on them, and hopefully we don't whiff on too many. Ideally, we don't. Uh oh. Sam Wow, they traded Sam Stone off and a first. Yuck. Really? For Granlin and Backland? Wow. What a trade. Did Washington just mess up, like, really bad? I feel like Washington just really messed up. <laughs> I like Granlin, man, but woo, woo. Or, Giordano. I read that as Granlin. That's Giordano. Oh, that makes it even worse. Giordano's gonna tail off me. I don't like that trade at all for Washington. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm willing to accept your offer. I'm very happy. Okay, 48. I don't want to hear from you right now. Oh, okay. These are the scouts coming in. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Please. I would love to hear from the free agents. Huey, get off my... Okay. Okay. Please. Oh, there's a... Oh, right. Dumoulin for a second, a third, and some nerd that's never going to make the team. We're going to decline this for now. They're going to come back later, and if we don't get the defenseman that we're trying to sign, then we're going to accept it. It's a lovely... Okay. So now the scouts just don't have... Shh. Oh, we just missed out on Will Butcher. Okay, that's annoying. That's annoying. We did sign David Perron, which is huge. We did sign Jeremy Roy, which is huge. Okay. I would still love to get an extra defenseman. I would just love it. Let's see who's still available. Oh, wow, Klingberg's still available. They have seven teams interested, though. That's a lot. All right. Neil Pionk wants to get paid, and I'm not... In that business right now. Wierenski. <laughs> oh, do we sign Wierenski and just trust that our team's going to make... He's 24, man. We... All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it because Wierenski's going to get a little bit better. Wierenski is just going to do it. First, second, and a third. It's a lot, man, but I can get I can get this back. I can get those assets back. Right? This year's first, second, and third. I'm down. I'm down. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. Please. Please give me Zach Wierenski. He would be so good. Decided to accept your offer. Okay, that's good. That's the first step. The first step, but now uh, Columbus can either match or it's a wrap. That's that's a weird trade. I'm not going to bother with that one. Please don't match. Please don't match. Please don't match. Please don't match. Offer sheet. Columbus Blue Jackets have decided to match your offer. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, okay, Columbus. Okay. Honestly, I don't I don't even blame them. I probably would have matched it on Wierenski for that uh that number. Calvin DeHaan when now is is where we're at. I he's getting points though. Like he's getting numbers. You know what? We'll sign Cal Calvin DeHaan till one year at 3 million. I'm sad. Man, I'm very sad. Friggin' Ovechkin's still out here, though. <laughs> Trade Carlson for Wierenski? You know what? You know what? I feel like that's... I don't feel like that's a good idea, but I'm still gonna try to do it. Because who knows? Where's Wierenski? 
Just a big old one for one deal. <laughs> Apparently, it's in my uh, in their favor. So can we get an extra draft pick out of it? I wouldn't even be mad. Can we get a second? Fuck it. Please. Isn't sufficient at all, okay? Can I get a third? Actually, let's just drop right to a fourth. Please? It's too far off, so it's not that far if they're saying it's too far off. Sweeten it just a touch, alright? So how about... We jump up two rounds. Just a touch. Dang, son. I would love to get a draft pick, even if it's a seventh. Okay, now I just don't care anymore. Please, just give me Wierenski in the cap space and we're chilling. We still have... Okay, so we have to... Sw okay. Interesting. I'll give you a sixth. It's given us cap space and a younger player. So I don't really mind doing this. Sweeten the value just a touch. All right. Eric Car Oh, hell no. I'm not trading for Shea Weber. That's a terrible idea. He's old as dirt now. This is three years in the future, man. This is not worth it for Shea Weber. He's not a good player at this point. Trade accepted. Okay, so we just got Zach Wierenski on a pretty damn good contract. So we got cap space and a younger player. That's not uh, that's not that bad, man. And now we have seventeen million dollars of cap space. <laughs> oh, I want to sign Ovechkin, man. I want to sign Ovechkin. Oh, do we do it? Because he doesn't want a, a long contract. He wants a two-year deal. It, he only wants a two-year... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm going to give Alexander Ovechkin 9.1 for two years. That fits right into our timetable. So I have no problem. Currently considering my options. That's fine, Alex. That's perfectly fine. You take your time, Alex. You take your time. Alright. Because we're not going to have to pay those kids until Ovi's, Ovi's up anyway. A third and a fourth for Kurtz. And a fifth. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'll keep my assets. No, I don't want to hear about trades right now. I want to see if I signed Alex Ovechkin. Because he still gets so many freaking goals. Uh, Calvin DeHaan. I was extremely happy. That that's fantastic, Calvin. Extremely. Let's go. We just signed Ovechkin, boys. We just signed Alexander Ovechkin. And we just got a second round pick from the Rangers. Because that's a good, uh, good pickup. Get oven checking. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Got a sick team now. Let me let, let let's just go to the let's just go to the freaking next season. I'm hyped, man. I am excited. We just got a lights out thirty goal score. We still have seven mil to play with too. I don't want to do Jeru because that's just gonna we have centers that need ice time, so we're not gonna do Jeru. Uh, Pavelski wants two years. Actually, if there's a one-year deal, you want one year, right winger, we'll sign him. This is third line checker, Martin Furk. That's pretty good. Other than that, though, I think we signed Joe Pavelski for one year. At four and a half million dollars. That's just going to give us a little bit of a boost. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We... Oh, Martin Furt went to the Oilers. Okay. I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed, but you know what? 
Instead of Martin Furk, we're going to get another defenseman. Instead of giving a first, second, and third, you only gave up a third. Well, that's not how I would look at it. I did give up Eric Carlson. That could have got me a lot, but I, I guess you're sort of half right, maybe. Is there a better backup I can sign than Martin freaking Jones? Hmm. There is. James Reimer. I want, I want James Reimer. I want the Magic Angel robot from Winnipeg. I'm going to give you one year, though, and I'm going to give you $2 million, James. Please sign with my hockey team. That would be great. All right. Let's just advance a couple days and see what happens. The Blues want a second for a second in assets. St. Louis, you are on drugs. I don't want to do this. We signed Joe Pavelski. That's very good. We signed James Reimer to be our backup. Let's go. I think we're chilling. I think our team is good let's go to the season what a free agency what a draft what a, what a everything honestly we got Shane Wright and we got out from that very very bad Eric Carlson contract so boom cup contender yet I mean if not this year then next year man Next year, when um, when the rookies are still on their entry level contracts, and they they developed as much as they will on their entry level contracts, that that team next year is going to be a problem to deal with. It would be freaking awesome if we could get Martin Jones the hell off our team, though. But it's fine. I'm, I'm kind of happy with what we did, man. All right, let's go. Actually, let's let's go to the edit lines. Let's see what we're working with. Nobody's got crazy... Oh, my God. Alex Ovechkin, Shane Wright, and Jaden Schwartz. That's friggin' nasty. Okay. Wowzers. That is incredible. Um. Yeah, this team is friggin' stacked, man. I take it back. This team is awesome. Wow. What a great... I would love it if Hanala could go up a line. Maybe get Meyer down. Now I just ruined my chemistry. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just best lines it real quick. Okay, so Shane Wright, definitely our first line center. That's what we want. Um, Gabriel just doesn't really need to be given that much ice time. And Hanala can win face-offs, dude, and he's got a good 200-foot game. Why can't you put Hanala on the first line? It's just not... It doesn't help chemistry much, but we could do it. We could do it for sure. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything I can do that would make this uh, this team have a little bit better chemistry. I don't think there is. I don't think there's much I can do for that. But our ratings by themselves are pretty good. Pretty damn good. And as far as defense goes, oh, our third pair's got a plus three. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh. Oh, that's hilarious. I just realized I put Ryan Murray and Zach Wierenski back together. That's great. That's great. But we're going to give two pairs a plus three. How about that? How oh, man. Look at the chemistry on defense, though. We're going to have a rocking defensive core. Okay. That makes me feel very good. Sorensen and Dolok is a eight overall pick from last year. He needs to either play or be in the AHL. And at 81 overall, I would really want him to play in the NHL. All right, hold the phone. Hmm. A third line score. 
You're a third line scorer. Pavelski is a second liner. I'm gonna put Pavs there on the second line. I think Turris got to go. I think Turris has got to be the one to take the bullet here. And boom. Now. Is there a way for me to give him more playing time? Dolok might have to be a little bit of a sacrificial lamb here, but he's still 19. So it's going to be... You know, he still has time to develop. What if we do this? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Our defense has got such good chemistry, it's ridiculous. And our goaltenders got Robin Leonard, so that's great. And then James Reimer. Robin Leonard, what's your contract, sir? Two years, let's get it. We have flexibility as well. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go to the AHL squad. We're going to give him a big old best lines. And that's just... Oh, why is Chemilevsky getting shafted on playing time down here? Put Sasha up there. Put Sasha way up there. Gallant needs to be on the second line. Oh, Lord have mercy. Put Sundin on the first line, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So that's going to be our AHL lines. Oof, our defense is not great. Merkley. Merkley is 81. Oh, man. We might be too good. We might be too good, man. Mer Merkley is going to have to... to be down there. Unless we bring up Merkley. Hold on. I'm going to bring up Merkley and see what he does to the... Um, to the chemistry. Let's let's give it a try. Cause ideally I'd want Merkley to play in the NHL, but I don't know. In the system. Let's get Merkley a call up. And you know what? Let's let's get Terrace down there so that we can at least bury like 1.2 million dollars let's just best lines it right now and then we're gonna go and fix it talk to you later all right david i'll see you later man what is our lineup looking like now okay we need Wright and hanala on the first line that's exactly what we wanted pavelski I want Zetterberg to be there. Schwartzy. Man, Jaden Schwartz is getting shafted on these on these line combinations, but it is what it is. Oh wow. Nelson Perron. Okay, so this is a pretty damn good lineup right here. As far as defense goes, oh yeah. This is what I want to see here. If we get Dahan off and put Merkley, please don't kill the chemistry. Please don't kill the chemistry. Let's go! Ryan Merkley gets to play. And Calvin Dahan gets to be on our on our freaking, you know, backups. It's it's all good. Alright. So we figured it out. That's the roster we're going with. Merkley should definitely play before the haunt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why we did that. Hey, Levi. What's up, man? Welcome back to another stream. I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate it. Let's just move on to the start of the season. Yes, sir. We are salary cap compliant, Gary. Don't worry about it. Waivers are in effect. That's fantastic. Scout assignments, we're, we're just going to chill it right now. I just want to make sure that my lines did not change because of the preseason to regular season switch. And hopefully, if it didn't change, we can go in on this uh, on this season. Because we have one of the best lineups that I've ever assembled. Yeah, it changed. Okay, Hanala on the first line with right. 
and Ovechkin. Hoffman with Pavs needs to be there. Zetterberg put him up there. And Schwartz is just going to have to be the best fourth liner you've ever seen. As far as who is... Ah, Dolok needs to play. Kyle Terris, why are you here? No. Oh, Dolok really kills that, eh? Okay. Okay, well, Dolok's going to get some third line time. That's okay. And, oh my goodness. What happened to my pairings? Oh. Why is this not... No, Dahan, get off the team. Get off the team and let Hickens play. All right. Good. Now we got some sick chemistry. And our goalies are the goalies. Okay. Yeah, it is It is a pretty stacked team. Um, going to the last five minutes to watch your team. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not really sure. But this is a pretty darn good lineup. Let's just do it. Let's just send it. Simulation. We should have a very, very good season. Shane Wright gets to feed pucks to Alex Ovechkin in his rookie year. What a moment. What a moment. We have good goaltending. Don't worry about the Flyers game. That never happened. Oh my god, it's either we allow seven fucking goals or get a shutout. Interesting. Very interesting team. Why isn't your team a champion instead of contender? Uh, probably because my chemistry for my forwards is not that great. That's what I'm uh, guessing. Oh my god. I also don't have any really top-end talent other than Wierenski. They're all just really good. Nothing too, too crazy. See, we're 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 okay though. We're getting we're getting it done. Actually, matter of fact. Hmm. Oh my God! Look at Ovechkin. Wow, twenty four points in friggin' sixteen games. Whoa, that's a lot. Schwart. Oh my God! Why? Why? You know what? I'm I might need to trade Schwartz. I really might need to trade Schwartz. Cuz he's he's going to be doing this and taking ice time. And having him on the fourth line just isn't worth it. We're going to trade Jaden Schwartz right now. Just OV doing OV things. Hell yeah. All right, Mister. How's uh how's Shane doing? Shane. Hey. Okay. Okay. Eleven points in sixteen games. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Merkley. Oh boy, Merkley's not doing much. Okay. Sundin. Hey, five points over there. All right, that's good. Um. Nope. Schwartz. Schwartz is the one I wanted to trade away. Okay. Let's trade him to the Eastern Conference. The Washington Capitals. That would be great. Turris is back in. Yes, he is. They want to... Oh, man. This kid. Why Why do the Caps want to give him up? Alexiev, minor top four right now. He's got top four potential. He's 22. It's on an expired... You know what? I'm going to snatch Alexiev from them. Oh, that doesn't work with a salary cap. Okay, I don't feel like fighting to make a salary cap work right now. The Leafs want him. The Pens want him. Does anyone with cap space want him? The Sens, excellent. That is a perfect fit. Okay. I would love... Oh, yeah, they, they did get Marco Rossi. Hold on. Give me a second. What did he do? What, did, what has he done so far? OHL, OHL. Okay, NHL so far, two games only played. Rip. 
I want a defense. Actually, I don't need a defenseman. I don't really need anything. <laughs> this is pretty much free. How about a first round pick? Ottawa. Oh, you'd need to give me a player back. Okay, I understand. I understand. Anybody you want to give up, Ottawa? Balduke is huge. They, a, he also has huge trade value. Wow. Justin Williams? Wait, that's not Justin Williams. Who is this? Oh, that's Josh Williams. That makes sense. Okay. Maybe Josh Williams? I don't know. I don't feel like that's a great trade for the Sens. I don't know why they would do that, but fuck it. We'll ask them. It's not sufficient at all. Okay, I understand. Maybe the first round pick is a bit uh, generous. And we can get a second, though. Because, I mean, Jaden Schwartz is Jaden Schwartz, you know? Do it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We got a prospect and a second for Jaden Schwartz. Boom. That's what we, uh... That's not a bad uh, trade at all. Okay. Now he wants to put Hoffman up there? No. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Best lines it. My chemistry sucks! Okay, that helps it. I want Hanel up. Nope. At this point, I don't care. Does anyone help the fucking line? No, you don't. You don't. Shane Wright on the second line would help Hanela. Oh, we might have stumbled onto something. We might have stumbled onto something. What if we... I know it. it's taken away a little bit of ice time from Shane Wright, but... He fits best on the second line. And so does Hanela, I think. Oh, apparently he fits best on the third line. Really? Yeah, but Hanala needs to not play on the third line, though. Okay. Other than that, Timo, his best use is on the fourth line. Interesting uh, fact. Okay. Dolok, where do you fit in best? On the first line. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Ovi's apparently a set... That would be the most disgusting second line of all time. Zetterberg really good on the on the Okay, that helps. Boom. I think this is pretty much as good as it's going to get. I want Dolok to play center though. Cuz he's a center, right? Yeah, he is. This is as good as it's going to get for chemistry for the forwards. Uh let's just fix this. The Han Merkley Who's out right now? Hicketts? Okay, that's fine. The Han is fucking our chemistry. Let Hicketts play, please. All right. It's not about uh, playmakers or snipers. It's more about their tendencies and stuff like that. Okay. So hopefully we fix the line. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, Valmy, let's see if we can get a couple of W's. There you go. We start off with a big dub and then a shootout loss to the Leafs, but at least, you know, we got a point out of it. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Max LeJoie. Have you developed Max? Oh, 78 overall. You know what? We're going to claim Max LeJoie. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to claim him. And then what we're going to do is come here for a trade. And we are going to trade Calvin DeHaan so that he stops fucking my chemistry. To the Leafs, because that makes sense. Can y'all just give me like a third not even your own third oh the salary ca can anybody afford the man Tampa Bay excellent 
Give me a third. Is that... That's actually still in their favor. Hold on. Give me a second? Hey, alright, so we got a second line. Or a second rounder for that. That's good. I'm happy with that. Ovi's got 14 goals in 19 games. He is a monster. Okay. So looking at the lines... Oh my god. They fucked him again. Stop! Stop fucking with my lines, please. Uh, whoa, we just found something. We just found something great. A plus three line with Meyer, Wright, and friggin' Sorensen of all people. I just gotta fix the second line. Or the first line. Shit. Tourist, get off my team, bro. Okay, no, never mind. I thought Dolok was getting shafted on playing time again. Turn off. If I turn off assistant coach edits lines, I'm going to have to edit it every single time there's an injury, so let's not have that. Who's killing this the most? Hoffman is killing it. Yeah, Hoffman is the one that's really killing it. Are there any left-wingers that really go in on the first line? There are not. Oh, this... No. Oh, nope. Okay. Zetterberg, get up there. No. Hoffman, get the get the fuck down there. Anybody. Does anybody help this line? Okay. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try to see if I can fix it otherwise. Cuz I don't I don't really care for Mike Hoffman, you know. Not his development anyway. Okay. So I feel like that's the best uh, we can do and here we go again fixing these. Okay. All right. I'm doing it every time because I'm trading players and shit. That's what's happening. Okay. So here we go. Now we got the team set up. And at that point, I'm not going to micromanage the lineup anymore because I just couldn't be asked to do it. Jared Spurgeon, huh? Two first. Get out of your mind. I'm not giving you two first. That's not happening. Especially because we have, um, whatchamacallit, we have good chemistry on defense. I don't need Jared Spurgeon that, that badly in my life, you know? Now, let's look at who deserves and who wants... An extension. Timo Meyer wants an extension, and honestly, I don't know if I want to give it to him because he doesn't work in the top six, and he's a top six player, so we're not going to do it. Other than that, can we extend you? Yeah, no, we can't extend these people. Okay, so we're really... We don't have a lot of... Uh, contract. Yeah, Nosen, I just... I don't really need him that much. What about goalies? Yeah, no, okay, so we don't even need to work on extensions this season. That's good. That's very good. All right, let's just keep her going. Yeah, injuries are on. They they can get injured. Holy trade offer. Jason Zucker, Adam Larson, John Merrill, and a third... For a first Rochette and another first. No. I like my defense right now. Central Scout Rankings. Let's just take a quick, quick peek. Oh my god, what the fuck? I just hired a bunch of scouts. And we don't know anything about these people. That's really annoying. Hold on. That is really annoying. I am not happy right now. All right. Assign scout. I just hired scouts. Yeah, I mean, like, we got plenty of friggin' scouts. All right, we have too many USA Centrals, so... D-minus is gonna need to get out of here. Get fired. 
There's a lot of USA Centrals, actually. Too many. Get fired. Boom. SHL, Russia, EBEL. We don't have a lot of OHL scouts. We have one. Let's get let's get more OHL scouts in here. And a QMJHL scout would not be a bad idea either. Oh, we're out of budget. Good. That's fantastic. I just realized we don't have budget for that type of stuff. Okay. Nobody's familiar with the OHL around here? Really? Not a single scout is familiar with the OHL. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Maybe the QMJHL scout we just tried to hire will be sent to the OHL. I don't understand why the hell nobody's being scouted. Maybe they just haven't gotten around to it yet. No, it's not really win now. I'm I'm not... I don't really care for trading first rounders right now. You know, we still have... Uh, we still have some years of building, you know? We're not desperate to win right now, but we're going to have a really good chance of winning this year and next year because of the fact that our best rookies are still on their entry levels. Uh... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to claim him. Rip. That's not what I wanted to do. Hey, I could get Dylan back. No, I'm not giving two first. I'm not giving two first. The future got fucked. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We got plenty of high-rated rookies and prospects. I feel like we are just chilling. If you don't have owner mode on, there's no worries for scout and coach money. I doubt that's true because a coach literally told me to go fuck myself four times because I didn't have the uh, budget requirements. So I don't, I don't know how that happened. Maybe my game's broken. Yeah, the, these teams really do be out here asking for two first-round picks, and we're not going to freaking... Breaking news. Fire their head coach. All right, there you go. Meanwhile, the San Jose Sharks were at the bottom of the division, but it looks like we are climbing back a little bit. Finally. Because that was a little terrifying, I'm not going to lie. But we're getting Ws, we're getting a couple of points. Let's make the plops, you know? Let's make the plops. And even the Wierenski, um, the Carlson for Wierenski trade, that was more of a f eye towards the future type of trade because technically Carlson was better than Wierenski, but his contract was going on for five more years. I was just not comfortable with that at Carlson's age. Yeah, see, we're getting there. We're kind of competitive. We're winning some games. Brandon Gallagher and Shea Weber for a first. And Jensen. Whoa. Shea Weber has... This is how bad the Shea Weber contract is here. Here we go. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Look at this. How old is Shea Weber? 37 years old, right? He's still going to be getting paid for four years. $7.8 million. That contract sucks. Check your lines. They may have got messed up. Oh, I'm 100% sure they did get messed up. But at this point, I don't really want to micromanage everything too much. What? Huh? Huh? Mr. Peaks, are you good? Are you good at hockey? 
Low top four, 24, 77. Don't need him. All right. More freaking Nate Schmidt, a first and a third. No. If my defense, if I wasn't happy with my defense, I, I'm, I would have considered that. But that's a big no. Wow, there's a lot of big trades happening right now. That's pretty good. Adam Larson again. I'm not giving you two first. It's not happening. It's not happening. I don't give a fuck what my what my team status says. I'm not giving you two first. That's just a uh, a team policy, you know. You you're you better be giving me a hell of a player for me to give you two first round picks. That is just not. In my language, Lord have mercy, we just allowed eight goals. That's not good. Maybe our defense isn't that great. Even with the... Uh, a first and Maloney for Dumoulin and a third. That might be worth considering, considering we just allowed a bunch of goals. Oh, but we might miss the playoffs, too. And you know what? He's not really providing anything. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We considered it. But if we fall out of the playoffs, we're really going to regret giving them that first. So let's not. Let's not do it. Plus, it's good for the kids to be in very meaningful games, you know? I like that. See, we're getting points. Closing in on a 40-win season, we might mess around and end the end the year with 43, 44. If we're if we have a good end to it, as we keep getting these points. Okay, we lost to Philly. It's one goal lost. Those that's not too bad. And just like that, we're second in the Pacific. Boom. Okay. All right. So not the strongest season for the Sharks, but we're still being very competitive and we're gonna make the playoffs which is good and in the playoffs I will absolutely micromanage my lines because you kinda have to yeah kinda have to because we wanna get unless we just don't make it because the team can't win a late season game I mean it is a possibility because we just went on a massive losing streak thank you finally don't don't play me like that Okay, we made the playoffs. We're taking on the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round. Thank goodness, because it, it looked like it was a, a mm -mm, little annoying. A little bit of a disappointing end to the season, but it's all good. All right, let's look at our leading score. It's going to be Hanala. He's got 34 goals, 41 assists, 75 points. Very, very good. We are happy with that. 31 goals for Ovi. He slowed down a little bit. Oh, he only played 47 games. That's why. That makes a lot of sense. Pavs is out there getting 56 points. And another 50. Okay, okay. A couple of 50s. Mike Hoffman. Shane Wright had a 46-point season in his first year. That's pretty good. Zetterberg is also contributing. Man, I like this. I really like this. Hey, see? See? Even Kyle Turris messed around got 33 points. That's not bad, man. That is not bad at all. Goaltenders. What did we get? Oof, 907 from Leonard. We need more out of you. And James Reimer was a complete failure at backup. I love James Reimer, but you got to you gotta call it like it is. And that was not a good season. All righty, gens. It is time. It is time. Second line, it's going to be Hanala. Who was it that worked really well with Hanala on the second line? Hold on. Okay, here, I'll just do chemistry for this. Turris, who's really good on the third line? Ooh, Dolok, sick on the first, love to see it. Pavs, best on the third, boom, love to see it. Perron's all right on the third. Anybody else, anybody great on the third line? That'd be awesome. You fit really well with the first line, we'll do that. Timo. Oh, man. We really don't have that many players that are great on the first line, but okay. Th 
third line is good for these gentlemen. Perron's also pretty decent. What about Zetterberg? Zetterberg works best on the third or the fourth line. So basically, this is as good as it's going to get for chemistry on the offensive side of things. And then, boom, we just do this for our defense. And then we should be, should be good. All right, let's go. First game against Chicago. Let's hope. Let's hope we come out here. And you never know, we might have a deep playoff run. Or not. Or it's going to be very short. As we take a big L. Oh, man. And then losing overtime. That sucks. Shane Wright isn't playing. Well, obviously, it's probably because he's injured. Because they would absolutely play him. Yeah. Shane Wright, Mike Hoffman are both injured. So there's nothing I can do about that. Um... I guess I guess we're just gonna best lines this because we're down, and we're just gonna need. Oh boy, that's not good. We just need to do something that doesn't hurt our chemistry. Yep, that's pretty much the best we can do. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. This is pretty interesting. That maximizes Warensky. I don't know. Let's take a special look at. Oh boy, that is bad. Man. Is there anything I can do to help this? Hold on. Special teams. Okay, four-man power play doesn't matter. It just doesn't. Like, I don't, I don't really care. Put Dolog here. Zetterberg. Nope. Okay. I want Hanala to play forward on my power play, please. Thank you, I appreciate it. Matter of fact, who can win face-offs easier? Because we need the puck. Okay. Maybe Pavs can be there. He can tip in some stuff. Ovechkin running the point. That's good. I like that. That's pretty much as good as it's going to get for, uh, for the power play. All right. Welp, it's looking like an injury to Shane Wright and Mike Hoffman is really what's going to hurt us late in this... Uh, this playoff run. Oh, big dubs. Huge dubs. Okay. I'm going to look back at the lines and see if the boys are back. Because that would be just the best. Timo Meyer, three points, three games. I like that. I really like that, Timo. Oh, Shane Wright's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hoffman's still hurt. And <laughs> Wierenski got hurt. God damn it. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Was this the line that gave us plus... Uh, oh, wow, this is really good. Man. Losing Zach Wierenski is a freaking blow to the team, man. I don't, I don't know if we can fix this. I don't... Oh, man. That's just not worth it. Who's our spare? Friggin' Sorensen, yeah. Boy, okay. We have a forward playing D right now. That's not good. That's not good. Now, at least we're getting 913 from our goalie. But injuries, man. Injuries just... Mm, they do be like that. Without Wierenski, I don't think it's going to be great. Yeah, no, big loss. Okay. Please tell me he's back for game uh, whatever this is. Game five, I think. Let's see. What is the injury looking like? Oh, now Meyer and Hoffman are hurt. Oh, my God. What an unfortunate event this has become. I'm sad. I'm I am sad boy right now. I'm very a sad boy. At least we're getting chemistry back, I guess.
could have called up a DI. It could have done a lot of things. We could have had uh, Wierenski not get hurt. We could have had Hoffman not get hurt. At this point, we're just really unlucky, and yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to lose in the first round. Very unfortunate. But uh, it is what it is. That's just hockey, man. Um, all right. Maybe, maybe we can turn off injuries for the next um, next season. That way, my lines stay the same. They stay as I want them. Fuck your central scouting right now. I am not in the mood. What are your sliders for your injuries? That's a gameplay setting, so it doesn't really affect the sim. But uh, they are default for that. All right, well, here is... Did we get lucky? No, we did not. Detroit, Los Angeles. Yeah, no. Okay. I wasn't sure if we had a pick in the lottery or not from another trade, but apparently we do not. And that's annoying. It's a bit annoying. But it is what it is. Next season, we might turn off injuries. That's going to be in the next stream, though. I feel like we've, we've made some progress. We have a somewhat late pick. And we could have made it to the second round had we not been injured. I can almost guarantee that. But it is what it is, man. So I'm going to thank you guys for coming out, as always. It's been real. It's been fun. I appreciate the support as always. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. We got some Be A Pro coming later today. So be on the lookout for that. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys as always. And I am out of here. 